Hey everyone, today we are changing the spark plugs on our 2014 Odyssey. We'll show you a complete how-to for bank 1 and 2 of the Fiat 6. At the end, I will share final thoughts. The tools you need, 10mm socket, 5.8 spark plug socket, ratchet with 2 inch extensions, 2 of them, flathead screwdriver, torque wrench. Optional tools, a plastic clip removal, endoscope to inspect cylinders and pistons, 10mm wrench, longer ratchet extension for the back side if you can get a magnet uh, socket for the spark plugs versus the rubber one based on rock auto recommendations i opted for the ruthenium ngk versus the oem the key difference is the coding pricing was about the same at the time i placed my order these images show the key difference between the different types of NGK spark plugs. The one I received are made in Japan. I didn't make any gap adjustments as they are pre-configured from the factory and they add a sleeve to protect it. Also, avoid scratching the coating on the tips. Furthermore, I don't use anything else to install the spark plugs. Per NGK, it is best to install them cleanly. Finally, it is recommended to do this installation while the engine is cold. We start by removing the engine cover. Turn the two plastic screws about 90 degrees. Lift the front of the engine cover and then the entire plastic piece. Remove the two plastic clips for the air intake and after you remove them, lift it up and pull it towards you. Now loosen the negative battery terminal, it's 10 millimeter, and tuck it in next to the battery. Next, locate the three coils at the front of the engine. Remove the terminal connector by pressing it and lifting it straight upwards. Repeat this process for all three. Next, use a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet to remove the nut per each coil. You will repeat this process three times. Use your fingers to remove the three nuts from the three front coils. Be careful not to drop them. Next, we will remove the three coils. Grab them tightly and give them a nice pull. Repeat that process for all three. As you pull them out one by one, examine them and make sure they are dry and there is no oil leaks around them. We will repeat this process two more times. I left the hardest one to the last. Pull it straight forward, play with the hood latch, squeeze it in between the components under the hood cover and pull it straight up. Next we remove spark plugs. In addition to the spark plug socket, I attach two 2 inch extensions on the top. This gives me better flexibility to deattach them from one another and allowing me to easily pull the socket with the spark plug out. Examine the spark plug and make sure it is clean from any extra oil residues. 
here a comparison with the new one. Now we repeat this process two more times. The thread section of these spark plugs is pretty lengthy. Be patient as you take them out. If the spark plug is covered with oil and is not as clean as this, you may need to further examine why is that. The three old ones are out, now we will start to install the three new ones. As you insert the spark plug into the socket, make sure it is securely attached, either through the rubber or the magnet. This is important because if you drop it, it may affect the gap. Slowly lower it in and use your hands to start the thread. As mentioned before, the thread section is pretty lengthy, so be patient with this process. Once it's snug and you cannot move it with your fingers, torque it to 16 foot-pound. Repeat this process two more times. To put this specific coil back, make sure you wiggle it through the hood latch and that will help you align it and insert it back in. Put back the 10 millimeter nut and make sure you don't over tighten it. Repeat this process two more times. Next, connect the coil terminal. Make sure it's fully inserted and connected. Repeat this process two more times.
Now we repeat this entire process one more time on the back side. For this part you have to rely on how these components feel. Start by disconnecting the coil terminal. Be patient here, don't attempt to pull the terminal by the cable. Sometimes using two hands can be helpful. Obviously the camera is making this section look like it's accessible, but in reality it's not. I thought it was important to show you this back section to have a full view of the entire process since many other YouTube videos don't show it. This one was the hardest one to take out because of the hose that you see there. So you have to push the hose towards the car and pull this straight up. Be patient with it, eventually it will come out. Pull out the other two coils and remember to examine all of them to make sure they are dry and there is no oil leaks. Now we take out the old spark plugs. Follow the same process we used at the front section. As you can see here, I used a single extension for the ratchet. This worked better for me. Please use the right extension that works more ergonomically for you. Out with the old and in with the new. As you did when you pulled this coil out gently push the hose towards the car that will help the coil to go back in make sure to remove the connector from under the coil to ensure that the coil is seated fully Put back the 10 mm nut and make sure it is tightened. Don't over tighten this one as well. The final step for this one, connect the terminal back. Make sure it's fully seated as well. Repeat this exact process two more times. Out with the old and in with the new.
and connect the last coil connector. Connect back the negative terminal, make sure it's tightened. Put back the air intake, make sure it's fully inserted on the rubber joint. Put back the plastic clips. Put back the plastic engine cover, make sure those two pins that you see here are fully inserted on the two holes at the back and then uh, clockwise turn the plastic screws 90 degrees. Here I am including some images from the front cylinders and pistons. Uh, I thought it would be helpful for you to see how they look. Some of the oil residue potentially can be from the VCM. The older spark plugs look pretty consistent. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.